How can regions and cities contribute to Europe's big ambitions, such as the unions in the energy and capital markets, a common approach to migration, and solidarity amongst people? That was the theme of the 113th plenary session of the European Committee of the Regions, for which local and regional politicians gathered in Brussels on the 8th and 9th of July 2015, for which local and regional officials gathered in Brussels. Energy Union is a priority for the Juncker Commission, which wants to replace the 28 national markets and policies with a union. This could reduce energy costs, boost the use of renewables, and increase the security of supply for Europeans. Much of the investment will take place at local level. According to the European Parliament estimations, the EU could gain 250 billion euros annually if it would better integrate its energy markets. Moreover, the European Commission evaluates that greater energy efficiency could cut the EU-wide energy bill by about 200 million uh, euros per year. We cannot build energy union here in Brussels, not from here in Brussels either. We must build it in our countries, in our cities, in our regions, in our villages, and we need to get uh, uh, the support of our citizens, of our industry, of our stakeholders for this project, because this is project for uh, quite a few years. It would require enormous effort, and therefore we need to have very strong feeling of ownership for this project if we want to progress. Greece's difficulties have dominated the European agenda recently. Dan Kirsch, Luxembourg's interior minister said that his country's presidency would do all it could to prevent any member state from being excluded. Αυτό δεν σημαίνει σε καμία περίπτωση ότι ο ελληνικός λαός ψήφισε να βγει εκτός Ευρώπης ή εκτός ΟΝΕ. Ε, ψήφισε ένα, να μπει ένα τέρμα σε μονόπλευρες πολιτικές λιτότητας. Είναι, έχει ήδη δεχθεί πάρα πολλές θυσίες και θέλει οποιαδήποτε άλλη θυσία του να έχει αντάλλαγμα και να του δίνει μια βιώσιμη προοπτική. Ο ελληνικό λαό στη συντριπτική του πλειοψηφία επιθυμεί να είναι εντό τη Ευρωζώνη και εντό τη Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση. Δεν μπορεί να διανοηθεί, να διανοηθούν οι Έλληνε πολίτε, όπω φαντάζομαι και οι Ευρωπαίοι, μια Ελλάδα αποκομμένη από την Ευρώπη ή μια Ευρώπη που δεν περιλαμβάνει την Ελλάδα στου κόλπου τη. Νοί έχουμε σπίξει ότι η Ευρώπη Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση una rinegoziazione dei debiti in modo tale da rendere sostenibile il peso per l'economia greca, ma nello stesso tempo abbiamo auspicato che i greci vadano avanti con una politica di riforme determinata che consenta alla Grecia di essere credibile. Better financing could help European entrepreneurs create more jobs. There are 20 million small and medium-sized enterprises in Europe and they provide 60 to 70% of the continent's jobs, but they often have trouble accessing funds at affordable rates. That's something that can be facilitated at local level and it moves towards the European Capital Markets Union. Biorąc również pod uwagę wnioski z kryzysu finansowego, który w Europie, jak wiemy, zaczął się w 2008 roku, chciałbym podkreślić, że władze lokalne i regionalne mogą odgrywać znaczącą rolę zorganizowaną na rynkach kapitałowych w ramach Unii rynków kapitałowych, mogą również występować na przykład w roli inwestora oferującego długoterminowy kapitał startowy. Cities have a vital role to play in an age where information can be easily digitized and transferred over the internet. There's something that you cannot have in digital format, which is your own experience. Economists divide these two types of knowledge in between really knowledge that can be taught and knowledge that actually can actually be learned by experience but cannot be learned just by teaching or reading. And the beauty of the cities is that the cities encompass diversity and encompass people that actually have that experience. The plenary session also presented three regions with awards for promoting entrepreneurship. Małopolska in Poland, Lombardia in Italy, and Glasgow in Scotland. Also on the agenda was an opinion by Olga Zrien on making the best use of flexibility within the rules of the Stability and Growth Pact, Nikolaos Hiotakis on the new European neighbourhood policy, and Ivan Zaga on the outcomes of negotiations on the partnership agreements and the operational programmes. The next plenary session is scheduled for October.